Hey everyone, today we're talking about something called the Model Context Protocol or MCP. It's an open source standard introduced by Anthropic in late 2024 and honestly it's kind of like a USB-C port for AI. The idea is simple, instead of building custom integrations for every tool or data source, MCP gives agents like Claude or GPT a universal way to connect with external tools, documents, APIs, you name it. Now MCP doesn't build agents, it just gives them a clean, reliable way to access tools. Think of it as the protocol that makes multi-agent systems and AI tooling much easier to scale and interconnect. And the best part is already gaining traction. Microsoft, OpenAI, DeepMind and a ton of others are implementing it. In this video I'll show you how to build a simple MCP server using Spring Boot so you can expose your own tools or services to any MCP compatible AI system. So the implementation itself is honestly nothing fancy, just some clean, straightforward code. As long as you've got the basics of object-oriented programming down, it's really easy to follow. And if you're already familiar with Spring, bootstrapping a new project with a couple of dependencies is super simple. You can have a working server up and running in no time. In this case, I created a simple record with a few fields, nothing complex. Since we are not using a persistence layer like GPA, we don't need to deal with entities or databases. The record just acts as a DTO to send data directly from the server to the client. We also set a few MCP specific properties. Thanks to the Spring integration, we can configure these easily through standard application properties. Then we wrote a couple of methods in a service class to build and return a list of books. Again, we're not diving into a full code walkthrough here because that's not the goal of this video. The key point is that once the Java app is running, it can serve up book data through MCP. We are using Maven to build the project and once the package is ready, you can integrate it with any AI tool that supports MCP whether it's Cloud, GPT, or anything else that speaks the protocol. The configuration part is also super simple. In general, whether you're using a code editor, a terminal, or an AI tool, you'll usually just need to edit a developer config file, often in JSON format. You basically tell it, hey, I want to use this Java app I just built as my MCP server, and I want it to respond to certain commands or endpoints. Now I'll show you how that looks in practice. For example, I've got it working with Claude, which I use almost daily. Then there is a Try, a code editor I really love, it's very similar to Cursor. And finally I'll configure it inside Warp, which in my opinion is one of the best terminal out there right now. Funny enough, I actually discovered while recording this video that Warp also supports MCP configuration, which was a nice surprise. So let's go ahead, edit the config and test if it's pulling the book data correctly from our Spring MCP server. What a nice surprise. Warp seems to integrate really well with my MCP server. As soon as the server was running, Warp immediately started querying the available books I'm serving from my Java app. After testing a couple of the methods I created, I remembered I actually have an IntelliJ license, so I figured there is probably an MCP plugin or some kind of Juni agent integration available. And yep, turns out there is. I found one that works pretty smoothly out of the box. The only hiccup I ran into was with Trey Code Editor. When I tried sending a request like asking for all books or books filtered by author Martin, for example, Trey didn't respond right away. Instead, it added me to some kind of queue saying I was in 120th position and had to wait. Not exactly ideal, so I'll definitely need to dig into that and see what's going on under the hood. 